Records show that Pennsylvania Governor Tom Corbett let stand a $3 million grant to the charity run by former assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky. But the funding has now been put on hold. Sandusky is accused of sexually abusing eight boys. His lawyer says there are two new cases of alleged sex abuse against his client. But he says both are unfounded. Former FBI Director Louis Free will lead the university's internal investigation of the Sandusky case. And that's in addition to the NCAA conducting its own investigation into the case. And there are continuing allegations of a conspiracy of silence surrounding Penn State. For more on that, let's turn to Jessica Bennett. She's a senior writer for Newsweek and the Daily Beast. Jessica, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Is there a code of silence that you're sensing at Penn State? Well, you know, this is a university that is exempt from public records law. They've hired a major PR firm to help them in the aftermath. They have a very long history of being tight-lipped about this stuff. Let's talk about the football program. Obviously, it's huge. It's been huge for, for, for years. Uh, how much does the football program control the message that is getting out? I think a lot. You know, there's a funny story. A few years back, Joe Paterno broke his left leg, mm -hmm. and he was out. He was coming out on the field, and they actually built a wall, a screen around him so that local photographers could not capture him in a wheelchair. Mm. This is a very, very controlled place and a very controlled message. They have an, a showrunner who actually puts on the games and controls every little aspect of it. Interesting. State College, Pennsylvania, of course, a college town. How would you describe the economic relationship between the town and the university? I mean, it's huge. This university is the number one economic driver to the state. Each home game brings in about $59 million to the local economy. So you can see in some ways how nobody would want to go up against this institution. We talked about, Rebecca just talked about uh, the issues going on with the governor of Pennsylvania this week. Uh, Tom Corbett, the governor, let's stand a $3 million grant to the Second Mile Foundation, that foundation funded, foundation found, founded rather by Jerry Sandusky. This is mm -hmm. even after the governor knew about these allegations. Is that just another example? example, perhaps, uh, of this code of silence there and the power that the university has? Well, it's hard to tell at this point, and they have revoked the $3 million grant at this point, but, you know, this is such a small community that everyone is connected in some way, so it's hard to tell at this point whether this is all part of a grand conspiracy or really if everyone's just connected. As someone who spent time there and talked to a lot of people there, were you surprised it, it, it just how much the university seems to control things there? I mean, this is a university that pumps through people's blood. They have this intense Hence loyalty to it, and you can kind of see this sense of omerta and almost patriarchy that surrounds it. So, yes, certainly I was surprised, but hopefully, you know, as all of this develops, people are going to start coming forward. Joe Paterno, of course, is out. He's no longer yes. going to coach the team. What are people a week or two later saying about that these days? You know, I think they're starting to come to this realization. I mean, in the beginning, you know, we saw these rioters rioting against his firing, mm -hmm. but I think slowly but surely people are starting to understand that this is just such a bigger issue. I mean, Joe Paterno is a god in this town. He is this godlike figure that mm. also is able to relate to people in these in these ways. He's listed in the phone book. He lives in a really modest one-story home. Yeah. So he's kind of working class, but also larger than life. Do you expect Jessica at all this this silence, this code of silence, to loosen up? in the next few weeks as, you know, as perhaps more allegations come out, as perhaps there's more pressure on people to say something? Well, the new president has said that he has a real commitment to transparency. At the same time, you get the sense that they kind of need to clean house. You know, they're bringing mm -hmm. in people who are still from within the university. And are we really going to see change if you're not bringing in outside folks? Mm -hmm. Okay, Jessica Bennett, we appreciate your insight. Thanks, Thanks. a lot. Have a good weekend.